She Hulk, episode six. Um, it's not good. It's not good. It's never been good. Uh, so I'm just gonna go over how shit it is and talk about, you know, this episode, and then we'll go into all the bad stuff, which is the entire episode. So, uh, this episode, Jen is invited to a wedding of her best friend. And <clears throat> she, her best friend doesn't want her to come as She-Hulk in the beginning. So that, that's one plot. She's invited to a wedding of her friend. Her friend doesn't want her there as She-Hulk. She wants her there as Jen. Second plot is there is a, a, um, a guy who cannot die. Uh, Mr. Immortal, I believe his name is. And he married a bunch of women and one, one dude. And that he has to try to figure out, he's trying to legally try to figure out how to escape. They, they sued him, basically. And he's, they're trying to figure out what they, what they should get, what they deserve, what he owes them in compensation. Oh, that, that's it. Daredevil's not in this one. So they just keep on, just keep on every episode, just... Just keep on keeping on. Fuck whoever made this, man. Fuck you. you. You're not. You're not. You're not smart. You're not smart. You can't even write. You can't write for shit at all. Um, this should not have been a thing. You've completely fucked this up since since the word go. The show has never been about anything. You never read the comics. You don't give a shit about the people watching it, and. I don't know. I don't understand why people should give a shit about watching anymore. And then, as we start to get closer to episode nine, I, and you fooled me because I thought this. I thought episode six was the last episode. <laughs> now I got some more She-Hulk to watch, which is which is crazy because I love this show so much. Tanya's back. Tanya shows up to the wedding, and there's like I don't even think it was. I don't even think it was a minute. They didn't fight for a minute. I think they fought maybe thirty seconds. 30 seconds, and I, I started, I started to get into it, I was like, alright, it's, it's about to get loose, we're about to do something, and all of a sudden, Jen can't figure out how to turn into She-Hulk, I don't know where that came from, but then she did, and then they fought for like a second, which was stopped by, I guess, Tanya got hurt, Tatania got hurt, in a fight, imagine that! She got hurt, and she did not like the uh, the bad press, so she stopped and left. Word? You stopped because you were getting beat up in a fight that you started? <laughs> so she meets a nice guy, one of the only nice guys, nice so far, uh, only nice guy on this entire show thus far, and then there's, like I said, there's no Daredevil, which they teased you with last week, and um, then they take you to this ominous lab at the end of the episode, and they show you, they show you some scientist putting, putting a needle inside of a secret case. No one gives a fuck about that at all. Go get a bad guy. Make them fight. Make them fight each other. Stop trying to be a genius. Stop trying to be smart with this and just go get someone bad and make them fight. Okay? Stop wasting what you have left of these episodes and hit somebody in the face. Okay? Just hit somebody in the face. Just square up. Hit somebody in the face. Stop introducing new characters. Stop fucking shopping for clothes. No one gives a shit about boots or fucking suits or how she looks in a goddamn wedding dress. Make her knuckle up and fight somebody. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you the, the strangest part of this entire thing. The weirdest part is when the show goes off and you hear superhero music but nothing has happened <laughs> it's so strange it's so strange to watch this show and it's baffling and I see people defending this show and I'm like what the fuck is wrong with you what are you doing are you so deprived of entertainment that you think this is good what the fuck you been watching before bubble guppies fucking I, I don't know some other bullshit? What are you watching? Peppa Pig? 
I honestly believe that Marvel should take a break. They should stop. They should stop writing these fucking stories, or at least stop trying to be cute. Just, just stop doing these, because you you have not, in my estimation, you have not made a good story since Loki. Loki was excellent. Was excellent. Everything else has just been pandering and it's fucking stupid. And you completely missed the mark on what a hero's supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing with this character. Clearly, the shows don't mean anything to you. The only thing that matters are the movies. So why why do them at all? Why do them at all? I'm gonna watch Andor probably after this, and then I'm I'm almost certain that that's gonna be shit because they haven't made anything good, especially fucking Star Wars. Star Wars, you got a long way to go to prove yourself. But back to this bullshit. I mean, I'm not gonna go on a rant. I'm not gonna go on a rant about about how shitty she is and all this other stuff. You already know my feelings. If you watched any of my other many of my other stuff, you know it's embarrassing. You know that they embarrass themselves. You know they can't write. You know they, they the 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 uh, CGI is shit. Even even in this episode, she looked like an NPC. She just sat there. Her facial expressions didn't match her match her eyes. She was just looking off like. It just didn't, it didn't work. What the fuck is she looking at? So I'll be here for uh, episode seven, eight, nine. Who knows what's going to happen? Could be a bad guy or it could be nothing. Could be absolutely nothing. So I'll see y'all for the next one. I love y'all, man. Thanks for hanging out. Leave a comment. If you, if you got something to say about this bullshit show and uh, yeah, I'll do Andor and I'll get y'all, I'll get with that. I'll get, I'll get with you soon about that. I can't even talk. All right, two.